Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing quite a cacophony of issues, or maybe perhaps I should say an eclectic choice of issues, but syphilis tests, mask mandates, and traffic lights. And hopefully by the end, this will not sound as crazy as it does at the beginning. But I started thinking of syphilis tests after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, More Incentives for Foreign Film Shoots. And just a quick excerpt, a major obstacle is some regulations are outdated, such as a requirement that actors take a blood test for syphilis, he said. And they're talking about this in the context of work permits. And for anybody who's ever had a work permit in Thailand or maintains one to this day, you're probably well aware that every year you gotta go in and deal with a medical exam, and part of that medical exam pertains to syphilis. Well, why is that? Well, it's just kind of a throwback. It, it, you know, it became a requirement probably at a time when syphilis was a much bigger issue than it is today. Uh, I'm not certain this was a requirement back before antibiotics were readily available, but it might have been a requirement when, yes, antibiotics existed, but it might have been more difficult to get certain things into Thailand. So they were you know, actively trying from a public health standpoint to forestall you know, outbreaks of syphilis in Thailand when it was a major issue. Those days have kind of come and gone. You know, we, we know that antibiotics have pretty much kicked syphilis off the list of things that we're overly worried about from a public health standpoint. What does this have to do with mask mandates and traffic lights? Well, I was thinking the other day also about traffic lights. I was going through a traffic light at an intersection and somebody just came bursting through basically late, you know, the, the, they had, they'd run the red light, essentially. The, the yellow had gone to red and it turned green on our part of the intersection, but they just went buzzing through. And, you know, people see this all the time in Thailand. I totally understand, you know, this isn't the biggest deal in the world. But the reason I thought of it is I was sitting there and I remember my grandfather, of all people, talking about traffic lights when I was a kid. And in fact, I was kind of an early teenager, so I was probably a snotty little kid. And you know, he came up to an intersection and the light was going yellow. Now, he had time within the yellow to go through, but he didn't. And he, and he basically just stopped at the intersection. And I sort of said, you know, why did you do that? You know, we could have gone through it. We could have made it, blah, blah, blah. And now we're sitting here. And he turned to me and he brought up a good point. He said, you know, the purpose of the traffic light, people become essentially obsessed with the light without thinking through the purpose of the light. The purpose of the light is not to get killed, essentially, by going through an intersection and getting rammed by somebody and killed by another party. The purpose of the light is not to game the light for the light's sake. You know, that yellow light doesn't, you know, and it is kind of strange. We kind of gain this sort of emotional attachment to mechanical processes, if you will, you know, or, or sort of inert processes that are just created for a purpose. And we forget the purpose sometimes. You know, with a traffic light, you know, it's not a matter of, oh, this is an inconvenience because it's turning yellow and now I'm gonna just slow down and stop. And, you know, and some people say, oh, I'm gonna buzz through it. Well, you know, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but you're taking a risk there and you're failing with respect to the obsession over the light itself, failing to look at the underlying reason for the light, which is, to protect you from getting killed. You know, you know, it's like my grandfather said, I don't really care about the light, I care about not dying. I remember him saying that specifically. The, which brings us to mask mandates, and this sort of operates inversely. And my, my concern with mask mandates is the same reason, I, you know, one of my concerns is that it becomes like syphilis, we, you know, like syphilis tests. We end up doing this in perpetuity and it's really no longer necessary. And quite frankly, I think a world where we're doing that is a terrifying one. I mean, just on many different levels. I think psychologically, people walking around without masks on has a terrible detrimental impact to the collective consciousness of the state, the society you're dealing with. I mean, you're walking around, you're not seeing people's faces, you're not seeing them smile. I mean, that alone it, it concerns me on many different levels. I'm not a psychologist or anything, but you know, lay people are allowed to have, you know, their opinions too. And walking around watching everybody masked up like Cobra Commander, it becomes sort of concerning as time goes on. Meanwhile, more to the point, 
I don't think a lot of people are really thinking about the underlying reason for these things. You know, especially when I see people walking around alone outside or they're in a car by themselves and they're wearing these things, I, you know, to each their own. If you want to do whatever you want to do, I, I'm never going to condemn somebody for what they wear by their choice. But, you know, we've already done videos on this many times. The WHO has said outdoors. This isn't something that's overly necessary. And the reason for the video is I just, I just hope we continue to critically think as time moves forward about the reasons why we're doing these things and we continue to reevaluate whether or not it might be time to discontinue certain practices that, quite frankly, are no longer necessary if they ever were.